is good, our squad. Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I am doing a Yeezy mask giveaway. If you want to enter, all you got to do is go in the description down below, click on the link next to Yeezy mask giveaway, and follow all those entries. And for everything that you do, you do get one entry. I would hurry up and do it ASAP because the giveaway does end pretty soon. I think it ends within like the next 12 or 13 days. And by then, there will be a winner that'll be chosen. So before I moved to Tallahassee, I had a company hit me up. They asked me if I could review a product for them, and I was like, sure, why not? Because it's a company that I could see having potential, and I want to try out their product and review it for you guys to see if it actually works for me, and maybe it'll work for you guys as well the product is green diamond repair it is a shoe cleaning product and the product comes inside this box it is just a plain white box with a flip front box like a flip up little thing here and it has a green line going around it nothing really too crazy but inside the box comes obviously the cleaning products but it's not just a cleaning product it comes in this little package so they do ship with nice presentation i mean they tried their best with the box which is fine but then look they actually packaged and folded the towel pretty nice inside comes a shoe cleaning product and then comes the brush and also a microfiber towel, I'm assuming. It kind of looks like a microfiber towel through this paper, which I'm pretty sure it is. And to start off, I'm gonna look at the shoe cleaning product. It is a premium shoe cleaner, cleaner conditioner, cleans up to 200 pairs, eco-friendly, made with coconut palm and other natural oils, safe on all materials. It cleans up to 200 pairs, so I'm assuming there's enough liquid in here to clean 200 pairs. And directions, add one squirt of solution to 10 to 13 ounces of water and mix it with the brush, scrub dirty area with the brush, then dry wet area with microfiber cloth or allow to dry overnight. Warning, harmful if swallowed, blah, 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 blah. I keep out of reach children. You guys know whatever else it says. Pretty much, just be careful, don't swallow it, but it's a shooting product. If you're swallowing this, then you're most likely, I don't know what's wrong with you. I actually do like the quality of this bottle. It does feel like nice and rigid and the presentation i mean they just put a sticker with all with the label on it pretty simple nothing too much now to see what the product looks like i think it is just a liquid oh look it's even capped off so it doesn't spill or anything seal for your protection i'm gonna go ahead and take that off to smell it now and let you guys know how it smells oh wow i like that it has like a minty smell to it. it has like a like a peppermint smell to it so i mean i'm guessing that your shoe will most likely smell like peppermint after you clean it and it is pretty i can't tell right now because i can only see the top and it looks like bubbles but it looks thick it looks like a pretty thick product it looks thicker than crepe i'm not gonna lie and usually thicker products do better because that means they have more suds in it and suds are better in lubrication which means it helps to take off the dirt better so let's see how this actually puts up to some real work. I have been wearing some cream white Yeezys lately. It is this pair right here. As you can see, I try to trash them. I use them to the barber shop. I, I may not purposely try to trash them. I just try to like everyday wear and tear kind of thing because if I really try to trash my shoes, it's not something that anybody would just do. You know, I try to make it realistic. Like you would just go on about your day and it just kind of happens. Like I had it ran over by a shopping cart. People step on them by accident. Never really took them to a party. I took them to the beach. I had some like, I don't know, some kind of liquids fall on them by accident. And as you can see, they're not that white. I mean, this light makes it look really white, but I'll show you my other pair that's really white. You see how clean it is? So we're gonna put this cleaning product to the test on these sneakers to see how well it really works. Before I get to cleaning, I do wanna talk about the brush. And the brush is actually, it's a little rough. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest. It is a little bit rough. So I guess when I'm cleaning the shoes, I'm not gonna like really scrub too hard. I'm gonna like give it a nice light scrub because if you do scrub too hard, it is priming it, it could mess it up. I'm just gonna try to be gentle with it and see how well it works. I mean, it might just even work better than softer bristles because Softer bristles don't always get like push out the dirt. Sometimes they just bend and they don't really like, push in there to get out the dirt. So maybe this will work better, who knows. And the microfiber towel, I was right, it is microfiber. Anyways, let's get on to cleaning the shoe. Okay guys, so here I have a bowl, a measuring cup, the shoe cleaner, the microfiber towel, and the brush. And these two don't have to worry about. This is barber side for when I cut hair, sanitary reasons, and also sanitary reasons for soap as well. So we're gonna go ahead and start off in putting it said I think 10 to 13 fluid ounces. That's exactly what it said. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put maybe I'll say 12, so I'm gonna like fill the line up to here and then just fill the bowl up. I think that might even be too much. So it fills it right up to the top of the bowl. We're gonna leave that right here on the side. Let's hope that does not fall. If that does, we're gonna have big problems. And it says add one squirt of the solution. So I'm gonna go ahead, open the bottle and just basically just push out a squirt. So I'm gonna squirt it, just basically one squeeze. Okay, that'll do, but whatever. Even better, maybe we'll clean it better, who knows. And I kinda wanna mix that, so I'm gonna use my pinky finger and just mix it up. Get that solution very well mixed up in there. And it looks very cloudy, it's like a white cloudy. I think there was too much water. So I wanna say you might wanna put less water cause it doesn't look as bubbly as supposed to be. All right, so after that, directions say you wanna put the scrub. It says scrub dirty area with brush. Oh, you're supposed to mix with the brush. Regardless, it doesn't matter, mix with the brush or finger. So you wanna go ahead and I guess move it around with the brush. I try to only get the tips in there and try to get any deeper cause then I mean, you're not really gonna get that deep with it. So try to get on the tips, put it on and now let's get to work. So it doesn't look like it's getting many bubbles. So I'm gonna take more some water out on the shampoo, but I'm wasting some product at the same time. 
But what I'm gonna do is, now I'm actually gonna shake the bottle. Maybe the solution sat, so I'm gonna go ahead and shake it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in again. again. I put a lot more this time, so let's try it again. Mix it up with the brush. Hopefully it gets more bubbly. And this bowl is pretty, well, this brush is pretty big for the bowl. Should've got a bigger bowl, maybe. Okay, so you guys can see it looks like pretty white. I guess that's its consistency. I mean, there's still not enough bubbles. So let's go ahead and try to clean this shoe. By the way, I'm only just gonna clean this shoe and leave the other one as like an example of how it was before because both shoes are pretty much even. Like, they're both as dirty. You should take the laces off, but I'm just gonna leave them on just because I don't have time right now. I actually have to go to class soon. And I know I always say I have to go to class, but I am always pressured on time. Like, college is not easy, guys. It's literally, you have so much to do. Well, at least as an engineer, like, you always gotta be on campus. You gotta be doing work in the labs there and the computer labs and stuff, because you always gotta, there's just always something to do, especially with the professors that I have. So there you guys have it. That's a shoe cleaner. That's the work it did. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys how it compares to other cleaners in this video, but stay tuned to tomorrow's video and I will do a comparison on how it compares to Crep to see if Crep even cleans it better or it cleans it worse or cleans it the same. If it cleans it the same, it just shows that the cleaning products are the same. Like there's not one that's better than the other. But as for now, the shoe cleaner did do its job. It cleaned the shoe as much as it could. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Remember, don't forget to go down in the description below to join the giveaway if you didn't do that already. I know you guys want that easy mask, like nobody barely has them. Like three people probably have them out here. So if you guys want to raise your chances in getting that mask, go ahead and join the giveaway. Link in the description down below. Anyways, before I go, I do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day. And I have been procrastinating so much on announcing the winner for last month. And I should have done it. I should have should have done it just before or while I was doing the hurricane, but I was sick. And I got better at one point, but I'm just so busy. Like the work has been busy too. I've been at work all day. I've been hustling, I've been grinding. I got major bills to pay now, so I really gotta be working now. But I will get to it. I promise. I promise I will. Don't think I forgot. But anyways, today's fan of the day goes to my boy, Fear Marcel. Huge shout out to him because he did help me out when I was at like my lowest after the channel shut down. He hit me up and he's like, yo, I'll give you a shout out. I'll help you out. I'm pretty sure you'll get some subscribers back. So big shout out to him, bro. Big shout out to you. I know you watch all my videos. You stay showing love in the comments too. Really, really appreciate you, bro. Anyways, guys, make sure you stay woke. It's your boy, Sneaker Sign out.